Hey, happy Saturday, everyone. A beautiful, beautiful Saturday. Rob here, Rob Stan for Nonstop Naples. I'm out in front of the historic Naples Depot, which is now one of our beautiful Collier County Museums. A lot of history in this building. Definitely worth coming and checking out. Tucked away in the back of this place is what we're gonna visit this morning is the Naples Train Museum, formerly the Naples Lionel Train Museum. We're gonna take a walk back there. I don't know, maybe I'll get lucky. I, there's a little train that runs by here. You can see the tracks. We make a couple loops around here. Maybe on his second pass by here, I'll be able to catch the little train and get a ride back to the lion elk display back there. But while he makes a loop, See <laughs> that? Kids of all ages enjoy the ride on the little train here. But a little bit about the Naples Depot here while they're making their loop. The depot here was built, originally built back in 1926 by the Seaboard Airline Railway. The first train pulled into the station back in 1927. The last train left in 1971. Now it is a historical site, a registered historical site. There's more than trains inside there. It is, it is free to go into this museum here. There's a lot of history about Collier County, the building of Collier County, the development of Collier and Naples. Some neat things they have also. They have a, an old caboose out here. I don't know if any of you are old enough to know what an old baggage car over there looks like. That's an old baggage car from back in the steam days down on the platform down there at the end you can see there's an old observation car from the seaboard railroad the observation cars had that round end on the back they were the last car in the passenger train lots of fun things to see at the naples depot the old naples depot but today we're going to go back and take a look at a little hidden jewel here in Naples that people don't know about. It's in back of the depot, the Naples Train Museum. So I'm waiting for a ride back there. I'm gonna come out to the front of the building. This is right on 41 here. Just before the Four Corners, just west of the Four Corners at 41. The, what we called the Four Corners in the old days where 41 makes the bend north. Now they call it Fifth Avenue South. Well, here comes my ride. I hope they saved me a seat. A ride on this little miniature train here that is included with your entrance fee to the Naples Train Museum. When the kids go by in their cars, it's always, when they see this train going by, you know what it is. Hey, mom, dad, pick me up, pick me up, or I wanna take a ride. Let's see if they saved me a seat. They did. And the last seat. No, we'll just go back. <laughs> Sorry, you should have said that before I said it. Well, let's take a ride here. Great view of the train here from the back. We'll go next to the old caboose here. To the old baggage car. There's the 
observation car, the old observation car. The little white building just ahead of us, that's the engine house where they keep the engines for the railroad here. into the station. Or not. <laughs> Maybe we're going to get an extra trip around the track. There's our conductor, Paul. Very stern look on his face. This, this is like the highlight of the visit to the Naples Train Museum, especially for the little kids. But we have a derail. What did we do? Sounds like one of the wheels came off here. <laughs> How exciting. <laughs> While we're live. That's pretty funny. You never know what's going to happen when you're live on Facebook. <laughs> See, it's because you wanted that extra loop. <laughs> Oh, that's wow. a, a derail. <laughs> a derailment. Oh no. <laughs> so how do you fix this? <laughs> Interesting. Well, let's take a look at this little train here while it's sitting here, while they put it back on the tracks. Ryan, was that a child screaming? No, he was blowing a whistle. <laughs> oh, oh, I got gotcha. <laughs> you. Well, they're going to get it back on track. Let's go take a look at the front here at the engines. You never know what you're going to see during one of our live feeds. <laughs> that was something else. You got to experience a derailment. That doesn't happen very often. They got her back on track here. I'm looking at that plastic piece right there that may have been on the track. Uh, let's see, it marked up right here. Okay. okay. Let's, well, let's you got it back on the track. That's good. It's all documented. It's all documented <laughs> live on Facebook. What are the odds of that happening? A little entertainment value. I'll tell you. And that, I just told everybody that never happens here. That is a first. Oh, that was your first mistake. <laughs> yeah. It's probably because of the fat guy sitting on the end. <laughs> Here, we need to get a picture of him. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> that was wild. Well, I'm going to let you guys go, and I'm going to go meet Cy back here at the museum. Oh, thank you. Thanks for the ride. Uh, Thanks for the thrill. <laughs> the thrill ride. Well, next, next time you want a ride, uh, I'll get back to you. Okay? <laughs> this is the boss right is here, the conductor. I don't know, they that. carry your train. <laughs> okay, great having you on board. All right, I'm going to go sure. catch up with Cy. Okay, that's great. Thanks, Paul. Thanks again, Rob. All right. That was definitely interesting. Well, here's... The east side of the old depot here. You can still see the old freight doors here. Or 
where they used to load the freight into the vehicles that were out here. There's actually a, a replica inside the Naples Depot of the old depot here. So you can see what it looked like when it was in action. But all the way in the back corner here is where the Naples Train Museum is. It used to be called the Naples Lionel Train Museum, but they've added some other manufacturers trains to the display and collection. So now it's just called the Naples Train Museum. But it's all the way in the back corner here. And there is an entrance fee to get in. I don't know where the boss is, where Cy went. And we're gonna go inside there in a minute and check it out. It's all closed. So did you get what you wanted? We did, and say yeah. hi to everybody. We're live here. Okay. So, this is Cy, and what's your title here, Cy? Uh, just one of the volunteers. Just one. You're not the the boss or anything. Well, no, no bosses here. There's right? no bosses. There you go. Actually, actually, we do have bosses for each day. We have a Friday boss and a Saturday boss. Ah. And One I, thing I wanted to let everybody know right up front that there is an entry entry fee, an entrance fee. Yes, like how much is that? It's uh, seven dollars for children over fourteen and adults, and three dollars for children between three and thirteen, and free for children wow. under three. Thank you. All right, and that includes a ride on the outdoor train. It does. That's that makes it worth it all, right there. That's right. I think most everybody enjoys. The Let's ride. go ahead and step in here. Okay, Take a look at the layout. I want to get things running. <laughs> you, 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 Jim, pardon? They're, they're wanting to take some uh, movies. You want We're to, live here. Yeah. We want to get uh, some oh, trains right. movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the man at the controls here. Oh. He's gonna get something running on the tracks for us. A very impressive layout. When did you guys start construction on this back here? This is now 20 years old. 20 years old. Yeah. Wow. And, yeah. Yeah. and uh, actually it started. And look at all these old trains. There's this gentleman that got it all going. That's the person that started it? Yes. William von Lieberg. Liebig. Look at all these old... Are, they, the, are these all Lionels, or are these? Most, most of them in the display cases are Lionels. Where's some of the really old ones? That one right there is actually a very special Lionel. 1937. That was, made, that was made prior to the Second World War when Lionel was thinking of going scale. That's a true scale model. Most of them Right, Lionel most of them were like toys. Yeah. They're not scale models. But that's that a Lionel scale, scale model. model. Wow. And then on the Lionel's 100th anniversary, they brought it out again in gold plating. Wow. Wow. All you Lionel train collectors. Some neat things here. Some neat, neat stuff. I remember having these under the tree when I was a kid. Yes. And they were handed down from mm -hmm. well, that's my the grandfather. And, and, yep. Hand down, passed down the, the Lionel train. trains. So we had a little thrill ride out there. We had a little derailment out there. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> so that's <it's> fun. <laughs> it was a lot of fun to the train ride out there. So let's... Wait, how many trains are running out here now? How many do you well, have? They can, if they're all turned on, there'll be as many as eight running at the same time. Eight running? Yeah. And I know there's somewhere, there was a little Thomas the Tank engine for yes. the little kids. Here in the park. There it is, Thomas the Tank Engine. The new position is an elevated line. And the main reason we brought that up is that Lionel has brought out new engines that need a bigger radius. Uh huh. And to be able oh, to run okay. those ones with a big radius, we needed a new loop. I was, yeah. That was the one thing I wanted to play with my line. I never liked those sharp turns that they had on mm -hmm. the curves. You know, they just didn't look realistic. Yeah. Yes, there's a lot running right now. Something else is there's a lot of interaction here. There's a lot of there's a lot of little buttons and switches for kids to push down here. And let's see if we can get something going here. There's something one that's really visual. 
I know the where's the fire station? Tug of war. Tug of war. Oh, a little tug of war there in the park. And oh, the horses back there going around. Now, a lot of these things are, are really old out here, aren't they? Some of you know the the things out on the display. They're, um, most of these accessories are probably dated back to uh, five or six years ago. And some of the, as Lionel brings out new interactive accessories, we add them to the label. Oh, okay. Okay. So, okay, so I didn't know what you could still buy Lionel trains. They're oh, still, yes. Oh, yeah, oh, they're very still much out so. there. They're oh, still wow. very much in business. Wow. Where was that fire station? Oh, I see it's happened. It, somebody already had it called it out. One of the things you can do is you hit the button, and the little firehouse door opens up. Right now the truck's backing into the station. The dogs are chasing the dogs in McDonald's. Let's see if it comes out here. That's funny. Oh, look, the kids look, love this. The kids are having a blast in here. Very limited hours here. This one, the kids get kicked out of this McDonald's. Oh, the McDonald's. It's very slow. It's a little car. Oh, the McDonald's with the drive-thru? Place the order. Uh-huh. drive around and pick up the order. Ah, neat. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Slow motion. Yeah. Neat. That's a good spot. But look at look at all the kids in here. Kids of all ages in here. So what's your what's your hours of operation, Si? From uh, ten in the morning till two o'clock in the afternoon. On Friday and Saturday. Fridays and Saturdays. That's during season. Yes. Um, and then in January, February, March, we have enough volunteers. We also open on Thursday. Really? So how, so it's best to call ahead or, yes. yeah, or look call, at our website. We okay, actually, you can we keep, keep the hours keep updated. The hours up, uh, updated on what's the website. that website? The uh, Naples Train uh, Museum <laughs> Naples, uh, NaplesTrainMuseum.org. NaplesTrainMuseum.org. Absolutely. All right, I'm going to walk around here and just okay. let people look around. Sure. Thanks for your time. Okay, thank well, you. Thank Thanks you. for the ride out there. Here's a little ride. I'll take yeah. Right I'll read up on the history of the place. Yeah. I appreciate that. Make sure you share this on Facebook. Oh, we sure will. <laughs> thank you, Cy. Let's walk around to the end here. How cool is that? And that is a wall right there of Lionel trains, old Lionel trains, all different years. I know there's a lot of people that collect these Lionel trains. This is a great little stop if you're visiting Naples or even Southwest Florida. Come down, it's not too far from the Naples Pier and all the famous shopping areas here in Naples, Fifth Avenue South and Third Street South. Come check this place out. Bring your kids. As you can see, they love pushing these buttons. <laughs> Thomas the tank engine again. Oh, 
There's a big carousel. I don't see it spinning around there. A little double Ferris wheel over there. Kids of all ages having a good time here. <laughs> they have a Lionel trains are kind of a Christmas tradition. Passenger train. To Pennsylvania. A model of one of the Pennsylvania electric engines. And back into the tunnel it goes. Oh, they got the one running nice. That's a big, that is bigger than a, the trains that, I don't know what scale, that is a big O scale, I think. That's a big train up there. There's something tucked in every corner here. Every corner of the museum. The closer you look, the more you're gonna see. A little band show over there. The musicians. You see the little merry-go-round going around back in there. These are all these. All these little accessories are operated by the visitors. See these little push buttons. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little live feed, this little behind the scenes look here. You know, there's something else out back. They have an old steam engine that they use to pull that uh, outdoor train. They, have, they call it a steamer. I'm going to see if we can get a look at that back there. I'm going to see if I can talk to Cy and have him take us back to the engine shed. So if you get in trouble on the weekend... Let's, let's see the control panel here. Let's get a look at that. See where the switches are. Do you have any idea how many feet of track there are here? <laughs> how much are we replaced? I don't know. Oh, yeah. yeah. So when something falls up that gets derailed out there, how do you get, get to it? You walk on top of the table. Really? You can walk on top of the layout? You have to, because otherwise you don't get to it. Oh, <laughs> wow. That's I how this was about designed this. originally, so that was, uh, what, 19 years ago. Oh, yeah. so. there's no little secret pop-out panels no, or anything? No, I'm afraid not. Oh, okay. <laughs> you, can, yeah, you, can go ahead, you can go ahead and shut her down. I don't know where time is. My brain is in this train set. But I didn't see anything some questions here about the trains. Are they stamped underneath? That's the other thing. If you have an old Lionel train and you want to get some history on it, some information, bring it by here. No, I do the best they can to help you out. Yeah, and it has weird snaps. They have the spring underneath them and they're... Oh, I did. Yeah. 
I wanted to ask Sai something. I wanted to, before we leave, yeah. I wanted to, can we see the steamer out there? Can we go back and take a look at it in the yeah, shed? Is it open? Yeah, find Paul. Paul will take me back Paul there? Take okay. Back. I want to show him that other engine. So again, back behind in the back corner of the Naples Depot. The Naples, it's not really technically called the Naples Lionel Train Museum anymore. It's called just the Naples Train Museum. I still call it Lionel because of the big display. But I want to talk, catch the, our conductor here. Hey, Paul, yes, sir. can we go take a look at the steamer real quick? Show people a steam engine back there before there you lock a, her down. There is a steam engine. It's tucked away in the back. I'm afraid we're not going to be able to get to it or see too much. But it does run on Fridays. And we're, we're open. Uh, <laughs> you have to ask him. Tampa. <laughs> so we have um, actually in our stable, we have two diesels and we have one steam and the steam runs on Friday typically oh, okay. during our normal hours of 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. and now that actually runs on steam that runs on steam it's That's... fired by three propane tanks okay and uh, they're very efficient and we get a lot of uh, a lot of mileage out of those tanks wow and people love the steam engine as you can see by the way we Put our promotional materials together we feature that steam engine oh, on yeah. the front of everything that we do oh she is all the way in the back there oh, it is back there but we're going to come in and we're going to sneak in so just door. while we're here yep. this is a rep this is what are these this, engines well, type this in this is the uh this is the seaboard this is the uh, champion the atlantic coastline champion this was a real this is a model a one-eighth model of the real engine that came through here during the, the purple one, one here, the, purple one. the champion. And you'll see that in the front museum as well, in a larger, in a large scale uh -huh. model. And we have a GP7 over here, the GP7, which, which is from the Seaboard Rail Lines, which was part of the merging that went on between the two. And, and all of these run. I mean, these, these all, of all these, all of these run. These are gasoline powered diesel style engines uh -huh. and they're 16 horsepower each dual overhead cam they pull plenty really we pull five cars here when we want to we could pull 10 if we had to wow so it's a matter of just how much use we want to get out of them and they're very popular and they're very reliable so Neat. we alternate between these two on saturdays we run the steam on fridays when the steam crew is in here and uh, we get we get a lot of mileage out of this. Very neat. Now that is a what is that a E eight or something? It's what? an E seven. E seven. E seven. The purple one. Yeah. Right, right. And Those were popular back in their day. I tell Boy. you, you know, it brings back memories to me of being in Grand Central Station, being from New England and from uh -huh. Connecticut. And I remember as a young tyke walking down the platforms and the ramps to the passenger cars and seeing these immense... They were monsters. Immense, monsters. Immense iron beasts that were there. And I still, without trouble, remember the smell of the oil and the heat wow. that was in Grand Central. Wow. Big passenger terminal for right. anybody that's been through there, but certainly do remember it. And I've been through that there. maybe I was standing about that tall to you the think you were that tall? Door. Maybe. Uh, on, the on the platform. On the platform, yep, on the platform. Everything scale. Yeah. <laughs> you got yeah, because... You it maybe would make it up to the logo I if you were standing it, on oh, the track. Sure, sure, these things are. Uh, they were beasts. Know, People don't realize how big these old engines were. Yeah, they're, they're big. They weigh. T they weigh absolute many tons. Many and tons. they still do. I mean, all the new engines. And yet, people sure. want to well, test yeah. their fate going through driving through railroad crossings, well, trying to beat the train. Well, <laughs> come to think of it, we've had an experience a while back where somebody actually ran through our gate. Really? Oh, sure. And there were pieces flying. And really. Uh, Sure. Somebody and trying I, to beat these guys. Yeah, well, they might have been doing that. I mean, if they ran into this, it would be a kind of a nasty front end job that they'd have to take <laughs> care of. But, this uh, guy's got a broken eye. Yeah, well, this Plus, this guy. How this, old are these? Oh, I don't know. These these might be 15 years old, 20 years old. Wow. This, this is my baby because I've been riding this since I've been here, which is oh, too wow. long. But I've always had an affection for the champion, and it's treated me well. And nice. we hook up. On any number of cars, we have five cars. We can splice them together, 
uh -huh. make as many in, of the consist as we want. Five. Uh -huh. and, uh, so how many seats is that offhand? Well, we have four seats on a car. Four seats on a car, so okay. Four times five is 20, so we could pull 20, uh, 20 passengers. And Neat. today, example, we ran all day long. Yeah, you all, had full trains. All day long. Yeah. It, was, it, was it was amazing. It was a great day here at the museum. It was amazing. So, uh, well, I hope this video brings you more business. Well, you know, we, we're certainly grateful for all the help you've given us, and you give us a very good positive well, exposure. Well, this, you know, this is wholesome family entertainment here. This is what <laughs> we are about. We are about kids. We are about getting away from digitizing digital things mm -hmm. that the kids concentrate on now as fun and give it some noise, some hands-on feel, and hopefully they take that back home yeah. with them. That's I mean, all the kids, with all the little kids' faces, in, you know, out here on the train, inside, looking at the trains. You look at them, you look at them, and you ask them, I say, how many have trains? Almost all of them raise their hand. How many like trains? How many want to ride the train today? Everybody's enthusiastic. The kids are enthusiastic. Most of the parents, a lot of the adults, adult men a lot, so yep. a lot of times, they remember immediately start pouring out stories of their American flyer sets and their Lionel sets yep. and recounting all of that and brings me back too to the sets that I don't know where they are anymore but uh, still making my collection, building my collection now back up again. So it's a fever. So do you have a layout at home? I have a four by eight HO layout okay. that is an endless work in process, <laughs> like all of ours. If you talk to any train yeah, guy, absolutely, any mower, and, always adding, yeah, replacing. Always adding. <laughs> it's something's always wrong. It's sort of like here when we're yeah. doing our maintenance. Uh, you, <laughs> right. probably, you probably heard about the work that we do inside. Yep. And we're doing track wiring. We're doing track layout. We're doing electrical things constantly, all upgrading. All so the kids can have a great experience here. That's what it's about. What's so neat are all the little interactive things there, all the little buttons they can push and you know, have something do something. It is, is like, it is, and we try to select uh, the, the interactive exhibits that go on there. We try to select the ones that are going to give color, action, uh -huh. something to give them uh, attention when they're out, when they're you know playing with the thing mm -hmm. so it's a, that's always a challenge too oh yeah i'm sure it is kids are challenging but it sure is fun going out and buying that stuff isn't well, it? it it is <laughs> if you had an endless budget it would yeah be it would better. be even better <laughs> it would be better but us being a non-profit as we are you know we're grateful for all the help that we get we're grateful for the help that we get yeah. from you folks and you're looking are you looking for volunteers i mean new oh, members to boy, the club I'm, rob i'm glad you brought that up because we are constantly in need of folks that love trains, that want to be with trains, trains with kids, to mm -hmm. be able to work with the kids. Our recent additions have been a couple of ladies, and one of them is an engineer. Wow. And you'll see her on I our, saw her on the, fa on yeah, the you'll website. you'll see her on our Facebook yep. page, on the, yep. title, on the title on yep. top. That's Engineer Tracy. Yep. And she's fantastic with the kids. She's terrific. Wow. So. This is the kind of people that. So we what do they want. do? Just come down, give you a call, whatever. That's all they have to do is call the museum, leave a message, and say that I want to volunteer. Call me back, or leave a message on the website. So leave a respond to me on Facebook. Just let me know that you're interested. We'll bring you down here. You don't have to select something that you want to do right away in particular. We'll give you an introduction, walk you around. To everything that we do inside the museum outside the museum let you taste it over a number of weeks if you like it great for us great for you right. if you if if it doesn't work out for you if the chemistry is not there whatever the reason no problem at all and just you go on your way but if you're interested in trains if you want to help kids Typical people like that would be uh, sports coaches, for example, mm -hmm. that work with kids all the time. Mm -hmm. Come on down. Give us yeah. a Saturday. Yeah. Give us a Friday for sure. four hours. Help us out. Well, Go you on. just just recently you took a little layout on the road down oh. to 3rd to Street there. That's great that you bring that up because we, uh, we developed a Christmas layout, and it's a 12-foot by 16-foot layout with a G-scale train, if you're not familiar with that, it's a very large scale, physically large. Is that what's running up top? That's what's it's, running that's around a G the wall. Scale, yeah. It's a G-scale, and people use it in their gardens. They run yep. in and out of uh, hedges and everything else. We had that on the layout. We had hand scratch-made scenes from different parts of the world. 
iconic figures from France, from England, from Germany. Had the Eiffel Tower on there. Wow. St. Patrick's Cathedral, St. Paul's Cathedral. We awesome. had all kinds of memorabilia on there that people would instantly recognize. Well, the train and your imaginary train trip, you would ride around in that train through those countries and you would see those. You would see those imaginary things, which were real, of course, there. Then on top of that big 12 by 16 foot layout, we had a four foot wide, two foot high nutcracker drum <laughs> in the nutcracker. That was sitting in the middle. And on top of that, we had an HNO3 or a, an HO modified train uh, running on top of the drum. Oh, wow. And on top of that, <laughs> we had a six foot tall Christmas tree. Uh, so for Well, there's pictures of that on Facebook, right? Yeah, exactly. people can so see that on your Facebook that page. If you have an interest in what we did with that, check out the Facebook page, yep. Naples Train Museum. Yeah. And you'll see that. And check it out. You'll see the events posted that we plan to do. Our next big one will be the National Train Day in March. Awesome. Awesome. And we'll have some information and up on that. Make make sure say that one more time. Naples Train Museum because Naples train we don't Museum. want. There's another confusing thing out there called Naples Lionel Train Museum at the Naples Depot. That's not the official Facebook page of not. this place. That is so not. just Naples Train Museum. Very simple, easy to remember. Yeah, very simple. And check out same our, as the website. Check out our website NaplesTrainMuseum.org. It's yep. the same thing. And go ahead. Like us on Facebook. Absolutely. Now, let's sneak back there if we can. Okay, Just sure can. take a look at that steamer the That's best right. we can there. Okay, we're going to have a narrow walk. You're going to walk past the maintenance line. Oh, okay. This is, the maintenance this is where you get underneath them. That's right. Yep. That's how we get under, change the oil, change yep. the filter. Just like the real the real deal there. You just like you. the big boys. You betcha. Yep. Everything is everything is real. Just I grew up. Down. I grew up around trains. You did. Where were you from? Well, I'm from Florida. But okay. my grandfather, he worked, he was uh, an engineer up in, uh, he, was a, he wound up being a conductor up in New York. Fascinating. Fascinating. He worked on, oh, I don't know, the Erie and Pennsylvania and then New York, was, well, before it was the New York Central. Uh, he was talking big time stuff. Yeah, I used to ride in the engines when I was a you little see that? kid. You got a, you've got a little note on your DNA strand that says trains. Oh, yeah. And it's built into your blood. Oh, yeah. I That's loved it. it I mean, I've got pictures of me sitting in his lap there, you know, in like the, in the yard and the switchers. Don't let and, anything happen to those. <laughs> yeah. That's what it's all about. That's yeah. what it's all about. It making, was a blast. making the memories. Because, you know, Florida was not known known for its railroads. I mean, no, we, no. we're very limited. Most of the train enthusiasts come from up north. <laughs> they, they do, and they do. The, and, the uh, hobby shops never had a big supply of trains in well, Florida. Well, when, when you have an ocean like this yeah. and a Gulf like this. <laughs> what do you want to play with trains? I mean, you know, come on now. <laughs> yep. you, you, you take the lesser of the evils, which is easier to get to. Exactly. Go to the beach. To the beach. <laughs> so in here. Well, here we are. Here's, here's our steamer. Here's our steamer over here. You can see her here, yeah. Car. Yep. Wow. This is the real thing. That is neat. And what I, is this modeled wish after? I had, wish I had more light. Cy, do you oh, know, we can see that. You know on the, steam, really on the steamer that. what model this is or what uh, railway it might have uh, so mimicked? What? I, have no idea. I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. But, and that's... Too bad you weren't here yesterday when, when I was, was going around on that. I, I, did, I popped out when Santa was here yesterday for a minute. Oh, good. I've got a piece of video that I just recorded of him because the little video we did, you, are you familiar with the video? It says you never know who you're going to see. That's right. Well, we're going to swap the guy out at the end with Santa. I think that's a politically good <laughs> idea. <laughs> we're going to take our former governor off of there and put Santa on there. Now, now he's uh, the senator. Yep. <laughs> Oh, this is neat. Unless, of course, he comes back with a check. Yeah, there you well, go. Which he probably will. Been, well, that'd be nice. Very generous. Well, he brings his grandkids in here, right? A lot. Yeah. His grandson. Every quarter, maybe even. So what we got? Oh, uh, just a, a shell back there, or is that a retired, little no, retired that, switcher that, there? That, yeah, it is. It is a switcher, and it is a shell from the way it appears now. Probably just needing some more, needing some wow. more work. Well, you guys got all the stuff here. Well, I'm going down to meet up with the family. Hey, Cy, si, thank you. I did thank you. The front door. Oh, okay. I got we'll be out of your hair in a minute. Oh, here, no problem. Thank you. Say, thank say you. as long as you want. <laughs> thank yeah, you. Yeah, no, no, that's, that's fine. Yeah, that's good. I'll talk to you when I talk to you. We gave everybody a good a good taste of what's going on here. Well, a good we're, taste. Uh, we're, we're, we want to give you an accurate picture because, again, it's for the kids and the yep. families. That's what all this is about. 
and we, a real live derailment on my car. Uh, it was so, me. I'm, it was probably me that did it. You couldn't have planned that better. <laughs> that okay, was something else. Better. You didn't see me throwing <laughs> rocks up on the track there, did you? No, oh, is that what happened? Uh, that in your movie, but you scared them away. <laughs> no, yeah, they don't. So. That, that never happens. So we have and nothing, uh, no serious damage. So we have a lot of a lot of the uh, common parts, tools yeah. that you use to work specifically on the cars, the passenger cars, and the trains. We have heavy duty hoists. And this oh, okay, is, uh, some chain example, motors yeah, there. Yeah. When, we, uh, when we decide we need to work on an engine, we'll pull the shell off, and then we'll hoist that engine up, and then we'll have that at working level, and we'll do the work on the engines. Put it back down on the track, put the shell back on, turn the key, and where are the kids? That'll be the next thing we ask wow. for. Get the kids on. You know, the I was just a guesstimate. What do these engines weigh? Oh, hundreds, hundreds, hundreds of pounds, hundreds of pounds. You, it takes two people. It takes, you saw, it takes, well, we did the derailment, put the train back, uh, the car yeah, back on. It took, it took a couple two, people two to get of that us on. just to lift that up from the front end. The engines, you need pry bars to get them up if they go off the rail. And you just hope that it doesn't tip, tip over because wow. then you really got a problem. Ugh, but they are... They're generally very stable and very reliable, so we've had a lot of luck with them, and we just uh, we keep. It's like everything else; you got to keep at it. You got to keep at it. But We're then not. again, you got camaraderie. You got the team working down here. Yeah. This is Bob. This is our engineer on Saturday. That's the guy who tried to throw me off the train. Well, you know, <laughs> he's he's very suspicious, so we yeah. have to make sure we know. What's who's he doing, him. tinkering around oh, in here now? I don't, he's got some wire cutters or something. Yeah. Now. That doesn't look good to me. You know, coming in after hours with that. I'm going to make your keychain Lionel official. Oh, oh okay. Right. Oh my goodness! Got an orange one. You asked for my orange shirt one yeah. yesterday. Yeah, well, well, you had your whole conductor outfit took, took when, when I first met you. Well, you know, that was that was a long time ago. A little hot cool. for that. Yeah. Yeah, I can't, can't do that right now. But uh, anyway, that's only uh, that's only the window dressing. All right? Okay. The real deal is right here. Yep. Right, yep. In, this, right in this house this is the real deal. Yeah. That was fun. I enjoyed I I enjoy coming down here. Who knows? Maybe one of these days we'll become members down here. Well, even better than that, maybe you'll wind up being a volunteer. You never know. And wind up driving a train. Ooh. And having a great interactive fun with the kids. My grandson is going to be down here for Easter. Guess where he's coming. Very good. I would expect <laughs> to see him Saturdays. Come and see me on Saturdays. Saturdays, you got it. That's we will I'm, do that. Well, I'm thank doing. you for your okay. time. Thank Anything you. else you want to tell anybody real quick? A couple sentences before we yeah, end? Yeah, well, aside from just uh, bring your kids down, have a great family time, hands-on, noise, color, doing things. And if you want to volunteer, even the idea of doing it, give us a call, write us on the email, do whatever you do, let us know. And we wish everyone a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Happy New Year. Can't forget that. Happy New Year to you. Happy holidays, Paul. Happy New Year, Rob. Thank, Thank you so, so much. Thank you again. All righty. We're off. All aboard. <laughs> All aboard. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed our behind-the-scenes look here at some of the equipment at the Naples Train Museum. I thought it was fun. Great place to bring the grandkids, folks. When they come down to visit you in Naples, make sure you visit the website, naplestrainmuseum.org, naplestrainmuseum.org. You're quite welcome. They're going to lock up the engine shed, put everything to bed there. Don't forget. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Don't forget to download your nonstop Naples app, your free nonstop Naples app from Google Play or the Apple App Store. Be sure to do that. Be sure to visit nonstopnaples.com to see more of the fun things that there are to do here in our beautiful city of Naples. For Nonstop Naples, I'm Rob Stan. Have a wonderful Saturday. God bless.